my name is Ines Bayan, and today I will be talking about schnauzers. Here are my audience members. And my cameraman. Have you ever wondered which kind of dog breed is right for you and your family? There are many different ways to find out. My family relied on a website called eBay Classifieds to help us decide what type of dog was right for our household. After searching, a dog breed in particular caught my family's eye, and that breed was a miniature schnauzer. In this speech, I will inform my audience about miniature schnauzers. When talking about miniature schnauzers, I will talk about three things about the breed. Their appearance, their temperament, and about possible health issues that they can run into in life. According to the website Max the Schnauzer, Schnauzers are said to be originated in southern Germany in the 15th century. Although a lot of research has been made about the origin of this particular dog breed, no one truly knows exactly when this breed came to be. The name Schnauzer comes from the German word Schnauz, which means snout. This name fits the dog perfectly because of their signature beard-like whiskers. The Schnauzer breed includes three different classifications, the miniature Schnauzer, the standard Schnauzer, and the giant Schnauzer. The original Schnauzer was the same size as today's standard Schnauzer breed and was bred as a rat catcher, yard dog, and guard dog. When it comes to temper, miniature Schnauzers rarely wander away from their home. They're devoted to their family and the miniature schnauzer functions very well as a guard dog. According to PetWave, miniature schnauzers are highly intelligent, obedient, and trainable, making, the competi making them competitive in both obedience and rally trials. My miniature schnauzer is very lovable and loves to cuddle. However, when someone knocks on the door, he tends to bark excessively and sometimes if he feels threatened by the individual, he will nip or nibble at their ankles. But this is the only thing that he really truly does that is bad, but he has never bit someone violently in any way. Even though the miniature snazzer has a unique look to it and a good temperament, they tend to be not so good in the health department. Miniature snazzers can become overweight, especially if they're neutered, like any other dog. WebMD states the miniature schnauzers can also run into having dysplasia, hyperlipidemia, and bladder stones. Miniature schnauzers can also, are also prone to tokamidone syndrome, which is a condition that produces pus-filled blisters, especially on their back. All in all, miniature schnauzers and schnauzers in general are great dogs for the home, and my miniature schnauzer is possibly the best investment that I have ever made in my life. Any questions? Yes? What is dysplasia? Dysplasia means that the leg bone and the hip bone are not connected anymore. So it means that the leg bone becomes comes out of place. It usually happens with giant schnauzers and with older dogs. Yes? Um, how, how much do schnauzers usually cost? They usually range around $300 to $1,000, depending on what size and if they're part of a special beloved line, if they're AKC registered, and all that fun stuff. How much should they weigh? Schnauzers, for a female miniature schnauzer, uh, she should weigh around 10 to 15 pounds. And for a male miniature schnauzer, 10 to 18 pounds. Roughly. And that is all about miniature schnauzers. Thank you very much for listening to me to me today. Thank you so much.